Not the kind of problem that Chuck and I usually run into. She uh, doesn't really care, does she? There you go. I've come down on the other side of that mountain. The uh, the notch and everything's up there, and then the middle one, such as just over there. And I noticed what looks like a haulage at it here. And I'm quite curious if this is that mysterious haulage at it I was seeking. Uh, a lot of cold air coming out of here. And runs back that way. I, I, I almost, this has got to tie into that pit because I got air screaming out at me and uh, it heads straight back towards it. So let's go check this out. A ton of air coming out. Uh, you can probably hear that on the uh, camera's microphone. A little uh, like a natural, uh, what do they call it, a bug? I think so. Looks like they probably had, uh, these are probably for uh, holding cables and uh, and or ventilation bags really good airflow in here i'm just blown away by the airflow i'm experiencing right now just runs straight back as you can see as one would expect for a haulage at it looks like maybe they started a cross cut there these are the drill marks and uh, tossed a bunch of wood there. Same thing here. These are probably for storage, actually. Probably it was an air door here. I hope the wind's not uh, messing up the sound in the video. Obviously, I won't hear how the audio sounds until I get home. Muddy here. Looks like, huh? That's strange. So that runs off up there for an unknown space, or for an unknown length. Um, sorry, I'm distracted right now, I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. I'm. Uh, Thinking that might be an ore pass or something, given all the material that's come down here. Yeah, that's gotta be uh, an ore chute or an ore pass. Cause there's uh, just too much evidence otherwise. Interesting. That's uh, probably the most uniquely shaped ore pass or ore chute I've seen. More wood stashed away there. And yeah, there's a corresponding one here. Interesting rock. The uh, shift in color is such a, it is so wide here. You could have two vehicles, like two, two passengers cars pass each other right here. That's how wide this is. And uh, it's still going. Still running back. I can tell the uh, the locals have been in here a lot, uh, pointing this to the geology, but I can see footprints and such in here. No surprise. Interesting, these oranges. Orange and then the blues. All right, rockheads, what are we seeing here? Still running back. Still really strong airflow. Like there's something up ahead there. All right. There one of those little notches. 
And this was more extensive. This looks like it may have been a failed stope. And there's actually something coming down from there as well. I got down and looked and um, it uh, is plugged up. I can't tell how far up that ran. And this, uh, trying to figure out if this was a, yeah, I think this was a, a stope. See where all that material has come down there? Yeah, almost certain this was a stope. A stope that failed. And it goes back there and ends. Just to prove it ends, there you are. Uh, but yeah, you can see where all this stuff has spilled down from above. So, let's continue on down what's obviously the main haulage at it. Like I said, I mean, we can see where they they stoped out some material above, but given the airflow in here, this has just got to connect to, uh, in my mind, it's just got to connect to that, uh, that pit we saw somehow. Getting a little more wet back here. And I've got these uh, chain links hanging down. You can still hear an echo though, so that's that's somewhat reassuring. Okay, that thing we saw in the distance looks like it was a bunch of stacked wood. Huh. Not sure if those were ore cart. Yeah, those were ore cart ties. See the spike in it? Huh. Not sure why they uh, stacked, bothered to stack the ties, but it's cool that they did. Okay, looks like we got a junction in here. So there's something running off straight that is blocked off and there's this running off this way and I see the airflow see that ribbon waving I would suggest the airflow is coming from this way rather than this way so let's go see where this one goes first yeah definitely airflow here and there's looking back into the danger chamber, according to the tape anyway, or the ribbon. We'll see about that on the way back. Ah, that's interesting. There's that sort of the U, U shaped piece of metal holding this timber in place here. I have not seen that before. I was wondering what those were for. And then of course we've got these timbers above us. They're huge. Huh, lots of interesting stuff here. And uh, ties, got some track ties here. Very cool. And we're still running. A bit muddy still, but good airflow. Carrying on. That runs back as far as I can see without changing features, so I'm going to turn the camera off and walk ahead away. So if you see something interesting, I'll show you guys. Alright, I came from way back that way. I'm at a junction. There's a power box right there, and the remains of a power box there, so I must have had some sort of a generator or air compressor or something here. You see an insulator on the wall there too, which supports that. This uh, keeps running ahead, and to my left here is a drift running off, and I hear a bunch of rushing water. And so I'm curious what is back here. Oh wow, what do we have here? Look at that. A ton of water pouring down there. 
and uh, I don't know if those are lower workings that were flooded or if that's intended as a drainage. That's interesting. Huh. Good stuff. Good stuff. Carrying on down the main haulage here. Looks like there's some ground fall up ahead, perhaps. As before, I'm going to turn the camera off and I'll rejoin you if there's something interesting. I've been coming from that direction and arrived at a junction here. It runs back there to something and then main haulage keeps running this way. I feel like there's something on the left there too. Still feel the airflow coming from that way, but I'm curious what might be here. So I'm just going to duck in here real quickly. I uh, feel like some time pressure because I got to get out of here before it gets dark. But, uh, oh wow, this is uh, pretty extensive. Runs ahead there. Stops there. And came in here for something. This might have been dynamite storage. It looks like it might have been a dynamite box. And you've got all these little chambers running off like this. It makes me think that could be the case. There's a dead end right there. No airflow back here, of course. Uh, bunch of, well, I don't know what that was. Looks like crates or something like that. Uh, oh man, where the hell does this go? This probably isn't dynamite storage. You know what though, I'm really curious about that main haulage at it. I don't want to get sidetracked from that because we've got some time pressure in this area. Look down here real quickly. That's the other side of where we just were. And this is an air door. Okay, that just stops right there. So maybe this was done in my storage. Not sure about that other uh, drift, but that's something else we can check out on the way out if the inclination strikes us. But for now, I really want to see where that main haulage at it runs to. Back of the main haulage at it. See, there's a walkway right there to allow the drainage. Very professionally done. Uh, oh, okay, I thought there was something here on the left, but it's just a little pocket there. Changing the rock again. I'm not sure what that dark rock is. It's wet, so it looks darker than it is probably when it's dry and natural looking. A little more ground fall back here, but uh, just keep running ahead. So I'm going to turn the camera off again and pick up if something good comes up. All right, we're at the main haul jet running down that way still, seemingly forever. There's uh, something running off here. There's like a failed stope, and I can hear some water coming down. And to the left, these ties are enormous, by the way. These are akin to uh, standard railroad ties. There's uh, something running off here. And looks like probably a stope or something back here. Uh, huh. Some steps or something here. Running back to a drift level there. There's no airflow back here. A little chamber there. Looks like a rail stuck in the uh, rib of the attic there. And we've got, I don't know if this was intended as a stope or just a space for them to work in or what, but it's cleared out there. And on the ground here. And we've got more drift 
running back to Stopes there. And that one on the right probably connects to the one we just saw. That's the one we just checked out. And again, that's something I'd love to check out. Um, just feeling the time pressure so much right now. And I really want to know where this main haul jet runs in. So I'm going to stick with this one for now. All right, we've been coming from that way. And there's another stope chamber off to our left here that collapsed. And as always, still runs as far as I can see. There's a little uh, pocket out here with some water running down. Another view of these enormous track ties. But uh, yeah, this just seems to go forever. Main haulage keeps running there. Just a little wooden platform here. And a bunch of water running out of those drill holes there, which is interesting. Um, I think there might be something to the left right there. Maybe just a pocket. But before that, I want to see what was down this drift here real quickly. Looks like some rotten wood on the ground there. Some bricks, actually. And what do we have up here? Oh, wow. Oh, man. Holy shit. You guys, we're looking at an incredible underground lake right here. What you, that's not my flashlight failing. You're looking at black water down there. That is insane. That just drops down. You can hear echo. Echo. You hear that echoing? Here's looking up above. See the camera is having a hard time with the light. And then it just drops down to this black. And see there's the far wall. And it drops down, drops down and it hits black. That is the edge of the water right there. That line that I'm following with the flashlight is a lake. And I mean lake literally because this just goes as far as out of, ah, camera's having a hard time focusing. Is out of field of view there, and then coming back, coming back, stay with me, focus. Coming back this way, it runs, focus, focus. It runs as far back that way as I can see. That is incredible. And then uh, there's the top. That is just amazing. And then when I shine the light on it, it's just black. I mean, you just see pure black water. They toss a rock down there. So you guys will believe me. This is one of the coolest things I've seen on the ground. That is really amazing. All right, I'm gonna toss a rock in. See a little bit of the uh, ripples. I would love to know how far down that goes. I'm gonna do that again and try and keep the beam focused so we can see where it lands. There we go, that was better. Unbelievable. There's looking down the front here, and this is actually, uh, I thought that was paved, but maybe not. I think it was just uh, carefully knocked away. Could be concrete. Yeah, it's probably concrete. See that lip down there? That's really unbelievable. A little bit intimidating, actually. Um, in terms of size, that's probably 150 feet there across. And then just goes for hundreds of feet to my left. And uh, hundreds of feet to my right. Really impressive. 
unfortunately, time pressure, and I'm getting a little battery warning. I cannot believe I did not bring more batteries with me. They're all back in the car. So I'm gonna keep running ahead, see if I can find the end of this main haul at it. Still been coming from there, and so we might have a failed or caved stope or raised shit just fell in the hole. Uh, yeah, that's a raise right here. Right here. Uh, not getting up these ladders, that's for sure. And you can see it runs up there. There's a slightly better vantage point for you. It runs up there. Interesting. Alright, let's uh, keep heading down. The main hall is at it. That raise we just checked out is right there. And got some uh, ground fall here in front of me. And take some pretty serious cribbing right there. Let's take a closer look at this. So here's what's down in front of us. And there's the cribbing there. And it's pretty crumbly there. And then there's a platform up there, probably connects to that raise we just looked up. These are rails in front of us right here. Pretty serious rails at that. But it looks like they're needed because all this came down. Ah, just got wet on that water. And this thing just keeps running back. This is insane. We've got something running up here. That's probably an ore pass. Looks like a stope. Uh, maybe. More drift levels running back there too. There's another look up this one. Oh, there's one here too I missed. Yes. Yeah, I think these are ore passes. I was looking back at that cribbing. And, man, I am running out of time and out of battery, and I can't believe I only brought one battery back here. How stupid of me. I thought I was just going to go back a little ways and connect to that pit. Really stupid. Um, man, it just keeps going. There is something turning off to the left here. Okay, this is just uh, that runs into that um, stope. Apparently, they're taken out. They just dumped a bunch of uh, material down there. Main haulage keeps running back. As I said, you see the ground fall there. I'll pick up there. That's that ground fall I was referencing, but it's actually a junction. There's some stuff running off that way too. And I noticed that we've lost our airflow and just stepped in the puddle. Um, I don't know why. I guess maybe we, maybe this doesn't connect to that pit. I have to uh, acknowledge that possibility. Believe it or not, I might have been wrong about that. Um, Man, there's just stuff everywhere back here. It's pretty misty back here, as you can see. There's a wet drift running off there. So that wet drift is running off there, and we've got a huge ore chute right here. Look at this bad boy. That is huge. There has some really, really large ore carts in this mine. And there's, looking up, uh, it just goes straight up. Wow. Very large.
that's where we came from. And then, oh man, my battery's about to die. Looking over here. Not sure why that's blocked off. This, uh, I don't know, this might have been a trammer actually. I'm not sure what this was. I thought that was the body for a trammer, but now it doesn't look like it. Bunch of hoses. And what do we have here? We've got some big these motors. I need the motors. I see uh what I usually associate with electric motors here. Some lines. I'm surprised the scrappers haven't gotten hold of this stuff. Given how aggressive they obviously are. I think we have a huge winds station here. Here's looking overhead. And you see how elaborate the woodwork is here. Why do I not bring more batteries? The uh, attic keeps going that way. I don't know if I trust this in front of us. Um, yeah. This just drops down a long way. Yep. It gets wet right there, but it keeps going, trust me. That keeps going down a long, long way. And there's the view back there. It looks pretty featureless. I'm tempted to continue with the main haulage at it. Just gonna show you these timbers back here real quick, or this woodwork, I should say. That's really elaborate. Man, this is incredible. Really amazing. Battery's almost dead. I wanna keep going to the main haulage at it, I think. That's the main haulage at it. I just came from that section on the right there. I'm on that ground fall. I referenced and uh, it's actually not a ground fall there's actually a uh, stove up above here and this is all spilled down from that stove and it looks like there might be a uh, drift level taken up there as well but blocked off by all the stuff that's come down looking ahead it looks pretty messy and the air smells a little bit funky back here uh, caught a whiff of it as I came up on this uh, pile of rock and it looks like it might actually stop right there I just see a, like a flat face right there it looks like um, either way I'm not too keen on going when it smells like this I left everything back in the car the uh, oxygen sensor hydrogen sulfide sensor everything this is the other side of that uh, cement barrier or concrete barrier I referenced uh, when we are on the other side of that what I mean is we are back over there. So I think I'm, I'm under so much time pressure because there's only so much time we have back here. I'm going to think, I think I'm going to head out and check out those other mines. I'm really impressed with this one. There's some awesome stuff in this one. And so I'm even more optimistic about those. I'll go in those with plenty of batteries and oxygen sensor and hydrogen sulfide uh, meter and all that kind of stuff and hopefully do a better job. I would love to come back to this mine though. This is this whole complex seems really incredible. Need more time. Almost out of battery. Like I said, I just I couldn't resist checking out the danger chamber right there, as I've called it, based on that ribbon. Um, like I said, I've been coming from there. I don't know how long the battery's gonna last, but uh, I'm just really curious about what this is all about here. So, let's check it out.
That's uh, where we looked through before. There's some big timbers here. And some... I can see why they have this blocked off, actually. Huh. Let's get away from that. Alright. Uh, let's see, we've got a cave stoop right there. Oh man, this is... Uh, all that is fractured loose, so I can understand why it's called the danger chamber. Or I should say I can understand why it's blocked off since I'm the one that called it the danger chamber. Um, that just stops right there. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a raise or something there though. Nope, that just stops. But there was something off. Oh, see the old light bulbs? That's kind of cool. There was something taken off up here. Um, both down and up. There's something that winds down that way. With the time pressure I have, I don't feel like crawling down there. Uh, looking up. There's a bunch of platforms here, and uh, it goes as far. It goes up to that platform there. I can't see past that, uh, but evidently it does go past that. 